Oh, hi. This is that's the meal prep moves. This is hanging out doing prep. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, got a fancy meal prep for you. Thought you might like to come along for a ride. Yeah, trying out some new recipes. Yeah, well, you gotta keep it spicy when you are dieting. So, I was craving meatloaf this week, so I decided to make turkey meatloaf and mashed sweet potato, and I thought you guys might want to see it. Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. So, I did the easiest thing for the mashed potato, the sweet potato mash. I discovered at the store you can buy them frozen, already cooked with no skin. I didn't have to do any work except I bought four small bags of sweet potato frozen. I boiled them and then I mashed them with a little bit of this. I would say about four to six tablespoons of the unsweetened cashew milk. And then we had some of this left over from our cheat day, this fat-free sour cream. So I, I mashed in about five tablespoons of this. Then I also did some normal salt and pepper. So there's half a cup in all of our containers. The red lids are Kyle and the pink containers are mine. We each have a heaping cup of cauliflower and broccoli. This was also frozen. It's three small bags of cauliflower, three small bags of broccoli. I just brought them to a boil until they were heated through. I don't like them like overcooked. Like we don't like the mushy stuff. We like it a bit crunchy. And there's nothing on that. We'll probably salt and pepper it when we eat it. The turkey meatloaves. I bought five one kilogram extra lean ground turkey containers. And I mixed in a core, sorry, I mixed in half a cup of egg whites. I mixed in um, two teaspoons of this poultry seasoning, chopped up half of an onion, three garlic cloves, and two handfuls of baby spinach. I sauteed those until they were a bit soft. I sauteed them in some of this extra virgin olive oil cooking spray. First, you saute the veggies before you put them into the turkey. So I sprayed a pan, like just a frying pan. Then I put the veggies in and I sprayed the veggies as well. And then I seasoned them with some salt and some pepper. And I just sauteed them until they were a bit soft. Then I put them in my turkey mix with two teaspoons of the poultry seasoning, a couple tablespoons of Worcester. Wor I, I always mess up on this Worcestershire sauce. I know how to say it perfectly, but I'm not going to say it now, but I know how to do it. Yeah, sure. And some salt and some pepper. And uh, I mushed it all in with the eggs and the turkey. And then I put them with an ice cream scoop into muffin tins that I had also sprayed with this. I baked them at 350 for half an hour. I topped them each with a teaspoon of this no sugar added ketchup. So Kyle has four ounces of the mini meatloaves and I have three ounces. I really like putting them in the muffin tins because it's a lot easier for me to measure and weigh it out on the scale. And so I'm gonna do one for you now. I'm gonna get half a cup of sweet potato and measure that right in there. And then you kind of got to shove it in the cup <laughs> to make sure you get the full, the full cup. I like to do it heaping to make sure that you get a good amount of vegetables. So a heaping cup there. We use this digital scale. It's called the Perfect Portions Food Scale, which is right here. This is a digital one. You can get any type of scale at anywhere, Walmart, dollar store, Zayers or Superstore, carry them if you're Canadian. And this one is great because what you do is you take your food in your container and you can just push the zero and clear it so that it'll just measure the meat that you put in there. 
which I love that because you can fill all your containers and then add your meat in last. So now I'm just measuring here until I get to three ounces. There we go. It's 310. I don't get super, super accurate. I just make sure it's around that. And that's it. And I want to show the friends. Like, literally, this is so easy, friends. Like, I threw the sweet potato in one pot and the cauliflower in the other. Took two seconds to mash it once it, once it was cooked through. The turkey meatloaves, they're so easy. You just throw everything in a bowl, mush it, put it in your muffin tins. We it's always get asked how we have time to meal prep well we specifically mm -hmm. choose quick things exactly because if, we don't have time if you buy frozen veggies not only is it more economical like budget friendly because it doesn't go bad because it's in your freezer it's also quick they're already cooked and Kyle taught me a trick about you put the veggies in hot water before you boil them so they heat through a lot quicker <laughs> Uh, this is also what I like to do. I typed these out and I saved it on our computer and I just print them out. I print out a bunch at a time. It's so much easier when you have everything labeled. So everything says, it says the initial of who is it is, so mine or Kyle's. Niall. And then it says the day and if it's lunch or dinner. That way when we're pulling them out of the freezer, we know exactly who's is who's and exactly how many lunches and dinners we need. We get this question a lot too. How do you, do you put it all in the fridge? What do you do with all your meal preps? So what we do is we put three meals at a time in the freezer. So three lunches and three dinners in the fridge. We put the rest in the freezer. When we need more meals, we pull them out a few at a time and put them in the fridge to defrost overnight. And we get asked a lot how we reheat these. We just microwave them. The other question we get asked is, um, is this all you eat? One meal? No, I'm actually gonna show you another one, but when we show you our meal preps, it's only part of our meals because some of the stuff we prep daily, like our eggs, our yogurt, that kind of stuff, because it's quick. We do all the bulk, the big work that requires a lot of cooking in the meal prep videos. So what you see here is not our full day's worth of meals. Yeah, this is just lunch. If you wanna see a full day, we have full day of eating videos where we show you exactly what we eat for a full day. So check those out to see exactly what we eat for a full day. So now I'm just gonna basically put lids on these and then after the video, Kyle and I go through and we put some in the freezer and some in the fridge. And then I will show you what we're eating for supper this week. For dinner, I was craving chicken stir fry. So what we like to do is kind of make our own versions of restaurant style food. Yep. And so we got five bags of frozen Thai style stir fry veggies. I sprayed a wok with some of this extra virgin olive oil cooking spray and then I sauteed the veggies and when they were done I drained them and then I put five tablespoons of this low sodium soy sauce, some salt and pepper and a little bit of the spicy sea salt. I heated a frying pan with some of the same cooking spray, the extra virgin olive oil. I cut the chicken up into little pieces and I sauteed that and I sprayed, I sprayed them with, I seasoned them with salt and pepper, spicy sea salt, and Mrs. Dash original blend. As you can see, some of the containers have rice in them and some of them don't. On the days where they don't have rice, that means that we're not working out. And the reason why the rice is frozen and in bags is because one week we made like a thousand servings of rice. <laughs> a thousand rices. And so we just measured them all out and threw them in the freezer. The reason why we put them in the bags is because the odd time we'll have a lot of work to do like YouTube or, um, or some, something that we need to do that's a priority over working out. 
like today, for example, we wanted to film this video for you, so we decided not to work out. So, it normally would be a workout day, which means you just take this and put it back in the freezer. Yeah, move it to another meal. Yeah. So that's why, because it's very hard. Some days we weren't working out and we were having to scrape pieces of rice out of our containers. It's really difficult. So if you just bag it separate, it makes it a lot easier to just say, okay, I'm working out, I'm gonna eat it or not. And for our bodies, we like to use the carbohydrates, rice as fuel. So if we're not working out, we don't need as many. And that's the reason why we can, you know, add and re remove rice when we need to. Exactly. So that is it, the friends. That is it. That's meal prep. That's meal prep. You gotta see dinner, and I gotta see lunch, and I gotta see this. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to check us out and follow us on Instagram at the Colette. Yeah. Or what? Or what? Soy sauce dance of doom. <laughs>